Simply re-uploading movies on YouTube and using passive income can earn you $789,000. In this video, the entire procedure of uploading videos to YouTube without copyright is demonstrated step by step and paste movies as shown in this video to make money like this. And if you treat it as a business model, you can make as much money as you want. But before we get started, welcome to my channel where I'll share with you daily the newest and most effective ways to make money online. If you subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon, I'll let you know whenever I come up with a new and effective way to make money online. This way, you can be among the first to use it. To do this, you must go to the website boxofficemoja.com. You don't need to use your voice or show your face to do this. You can remain completely anonymous and still make over $789,000. This is an American website that tracks box office revenue in a methodical manner. The site will give you a list of movies that are currently trending, which will help you get millions of views in a short period of time. And if you hover your mouse over indices, it will show you the list of all-time top box office movies. All of these films have made significant financial gains in the past and are still capable of obtaining high cost per click CPM ads on YouTube, which will help you. We've returned to the mystery recap channel that I showed you at the beginning. As you can see, they've received millions of views in just four or five months. To summarize, they simply explain movies in 10 to 15 minutes using artificial intelligence, AI, voice generation, then overlay brief movie clips. This process takes even less than 30 minutes to complete. You can also view this channel after viewing the video to see how they operate. You might be wondering if using the movie clips will allow you to assert a copyright claim on YouTube, but it's not like that. The second step is to find a short movie explanation or a spoiler that has already been completed for you. I'll explain this step with an example from the movie The Wolf of Wall Street, one of the best business movies to watch. So keep watching until the end so you don't have to deal with any copyright claims on your videos. And if you've seen the film, please give this video a thumbs up. Next, go to Google and type up Wolf of Wall Street synopsis. Google will return a variety of search results for this. You can select any of them, but I advise choosing the one from im.com. This is the official website of the Amazon Corporation, where you may discover the top movie content. Spoilers can be found if you scroll down a little. The term spoilers refers to a brief synopsis of a film that may reveal key story points. We will utilize these spoilers to describe the film on YouTube. You will receive a copyright claim on YouTube if you use this identical spoiler. But don't worry. I'll show you how to avoid it. To prevent copyright claims on your movie explanation, simply copy the first paragraph and visit spinbit.com. We may use the original content from im.com without violating any copyright laws thanks to the free program Spinbot which enables you to transform any original content into a new form of content. Now simply put the text that we copied from im.com here and click on the arrow. The spin bot will then completely rewrite the text for you, which you can then use when re-uploading the movie. Now go to Google and perform a search for Google Docs. Click on the first result on google.com to be directed to this page, which is Google Docs homepage. You can use these Google Docs for free and they help you keep your information online so that you may access it anytime and from wherever you choose. Click Go to Docs to access the next page. Create your first blank document by clicking on this plus sign, then copy the spin-off paragraph from spinbit.com and paste it here. And now you must copy and paste each paragraph one by one into the spinbot to completely rewrite them, after which you must save the completely rewritten paragraphs on Google Docs online. You can also name your Google Docs with the name of your movie. For instance, if you are explaining the movie Wolf of Wall Street, you can name it as such. At this point, the list of movies to re-upload has been deleted, and we also have the written copyright-free summaries of those movies. And I'll show you both the free method and the paid method to get your audio done starting with the paid method. There are two best software for this. The first one is VoiceMaker. This software is actually partly free and partly paid here. You can create the voiceovers by just copy and pasting your scripts in this box. You can choose from many different languages. And you can also choose from different voices available on VoiceMaker. And you just copy and paste your scripts in this after you log into VoiceMaker. In registration on this website is entirely free. Now, a little further down, you will see two choices. For this video, I'm leaving the language as English US. Next, choose one of the available voices from this box. Let's say you choose Jerry Mail voice. To listen to this voice, click on the Convert to Speech button. The voice will play after a few seconds, after which you can download it to your device. 
If you're just getting started, you must purchase one of its plans, which start at $5. If you're intending to purchase one of its plans, I advise you to choose the $10 plan because it gives you access to the A13 voices and 3,000 characters at a time. The second paid program is Speakola.com. Once you start generating money from your YouTube channel, you can invest in this more advanced voiceover software, which will help you to produce more human-sounding voices from your written scripts. This will enable you to increase the amount of money you can earn. The best free option is to simply record your voice with a mobile phone. In this way, you will also learn a new skill. The fourth step is to find the movie clips for the videos. And the best way to do this is to use the movie clips already uploaded on the YouTube, for example. If you want the video clips for the Wolf of the Wall Street movie, you must head over to and you can incorporate them into your video. But be careful not to use any footage from the primary or major networks. The videos from the many channels, such as this one, any of these videos can be opened by clicking on it, then scrolling down and selecting the share icon, visit the website, item3.com and copy the link by selecting copy already available at item3.com. This website will assist us in downloading YouTube movie clips to our devices. All we need to do is paste the video's link into the box and choose to save it as an MP4 file, the audio from these movie clips when editing the video for your movie explanation channel so that you can upload the movies on YouTube without copyright. Another way to find movie clips is to download the entire movie and cut the parts that you need for your video from it. When you edit those videos, just add the flip effect to the clips that you are using. Remove the audio while editing these clips. And now I want to show you something very important that will inspire you and also dispel any doubts you may have about copyright on re-uploading movies to YouTube. We are currently on the YouTube Fair Use Policy page. And as you can see, works of commentary fall under the definition of fair use. I hope this has helped you to understand how to do this.